my name is Phil Osophical, and so today I had an amazing opportunity. I participated in a Native American sweat lodge ceremony, and the ceremony they prepare this small dome out of um, out of wood, and then they put blankets over it, and it fits about 15 people inside. And so they have this whole ceremonial ritual where they um, heat up these, these stones. They burn a big fire and they heat up these stones underneath for a couple of hours. And um, the community gathers. There was about 15 of us. And one by one, we enter, the, enter this tiny little dome, which is just underneath is just earth just um, and so when you enter you say omitakuye oyasin which means all my relations because in the native indigenous understanding we are we are our relationships and and so you just you thank all your relationships all the different ways you get food all your ancestors the air you breathe which is in relation with the trees and the, and the clouds. It's just all this big relationship. And so I entered the sweat lodge um, with my little towel and I'm just sitting on the earth. And it was a very profound experience. They bring in these hot stones that are glowing orange and then they pour, then they close the blanket door so it, pitch black inside this tiny little dome and we're squeezed in there with 15 people and then they they pour the water on there and it hits the stones and it's and it's just this overwhelming heat and it's very healing and it's very it it kind of releases all this negativity and fear that we have and it's a very powerful experience. And they also start beating their drums and singing these beautiful native songs. And so a lot of things came up for me in this, in this ceremony. And the famous Vietnamese monk Thich Nhat Hanh says, if there's anything we can do to help the earth, it's to feel Feel and hear the earth crying and that's that's part of what I experienced in the sweat lodge was I was just feeling the pain of the earth that humans are causing you know we're tearing down forests we're blowing up mountains we're exterminating species every day there are hundred species go extinct every day approximately and we're in the sixth mass extinction and just these insane things are happening on our planet because industrial civilization is is so prominent and um, the message that I got was that we just need to reconnect with the earth like it is so urgent that we reconnect to the natural world and another part of the message I received was that we need to balance polarities so we need to take action but we also need to accept the way the situation is now but in in lieu of that I feel it's we need to disturb the comfortable and comfort the disturbed so if you feel comfortable in your situation take action now use your potential energy because we all have immense potential that's that's another message i got from this experience was that we have such an opportunity to help people and to heal this planet and we can't wait any longer <laughs> i need to just like share this message that we need to take action now and we all have this potential whereas so many so many other species you know they can't they can't change the way things are and so many people in the past were enslaved 
they didn't have the freedom and the opportunity that you and I have to to do the things we're called to do so I highly encourage you to just take action in whatever way you can but keep a sense of balance in this action and I highly encourage you to make YouTube videos if you feel called to do that because through YouTube we are reaching out to people who feel lonely and people who aren't who who don't understand what's going on and I feel it's really important to share the message that Charles Eisenstein is putting out his books he understands the urgency and importance of this message and so he puts all his his essays and things and books online for free this is the ascent of humanity which just for me articulated all of these things I was feeling and knowing and it's just such a phenomenal book I'll also post a link to his three most important essays I feel but through this sweat lodge experience I just felt so empowered to help heal this planet and help heal myself help heal my friends and family so that we can actually live in harmony with this beautiful planet which we have become so disconnected from in our modern age and there's so many ways that we can reconnect with our planet that's what I'm just so ecstatic about there's permaculture there's everything I mean the list goes on and on of ways we can reconnect we just have to do it. We have to take action now. So please go do something. Reconnect with yourself. Reconnect with your friends. Reconnect with the earth. Pachamama, Gaia, reconnect. And I'm working on a website called the Pioneers of Reconnection, which will compile all this stuff. But I'm just so excited about it. And one last thing is that I would love any feedback from you on videos that you would like me to make or things you want me to share about because I mean it's all about the interaction and I would love to help you in any way you can if there's any topic that you're interested in or want to learn more about any way that we can build this movement and all reconnect there's so many things happening the Occupy World movement is happening on October 15th and every day if you feel called to protest then protest but if you feel called to build gardens then build some mother brother mother loving gardens just do it take action now peace and love I love you keep on doing your thing you have infinite potential so keep on doing it. Peace.